Greetings to you, fair lady. May I present you a rose? Ah, seems like you won't fall for this cheap flattery. I'm ashamed. Sunlight eases people's mind and endows diamonds with glowing luxury. What a perfect occasion for deceiving. So what's next? The young lady of the rich, resolute, and courageous as she is disregards my humble beginnings and takes her possessions to elope with me. But then I will leave her and disappear forever. A cigar would make a nifty accessory, and those gracious ladies would certainly love to see their lover to be a sight for the eyes. But no thank you. I'd prefer my teeth unstained. Good day, my lord. You're too kind visiting me, and I regret to receive you in a room of nothing. Another beautiful morning arrives, and many beautiful things are about to come. I see people opening their arms, waiting to go to the ball. New clothes, new flatteries, and new glittering stars to come to them. Good morning, my lady. I've prepared you fresh coffee, sandwiches, and this shiny diamond. Of course, I would never lie to you. This is a piece of cultured work, but look how it sparkles. How elegant, isn't it? Would I have the honor to invite you for dinner? There's a banquet held by someone I don't know. Huh? A freeloader? No, no, no. I'd say it would be lavish of us if we don't enjoy it. Ruby Port, a beauty from Duro Valley. Mmm. Tastes as sweet as it smells. Believe me, it'll make your evening unforgettable. A decent gentleman will not let go of this, but be careful. Don't let it tilt to your eyes. Eye contact <laughs> is vital. Although I'm not a woman of guns, it's necessary to carry one. I'm sure you know the reason why. I don't dislike dresses. They are pretty, delicately embroidered and intricately sewed apparels. They are what I'm supposed to wear, not these trousers. <laughs> Destiny holds a different plan, doesn't it? Diddling, rightly considered, is a compound of which the ingredients are minuteness, interest, perseverance, ingenuity, audacity, nonchalance, originality, impertinence, and grin. You have every virtue that belongs to a deceiver. Yet, you're a woman of honesty. I don't know if I should admire your righteous nature or lament the waste of gifts. If you want to, you're always welcome at my place. I will be here with my cleverest scam, waiting for your arrival and, of course, an invitation to yours. If my eyes serve me well, it's the bay of light this respectable young lady is wearing. Oh, don't worry, I won't do anything. She's of a background too prominent and an age too young for my tricks. New Delhi. To be honest, I barely remember anything about it. It doesn't make much difference to England. Aside from the scorching sun. We are two of a kind, dear. We would employ every means possible to find out the truth we crave to know. We are very alike. A crime group? Hm. Just to my likings. I don't like to resort to violence, but accidents happen. Glad to be of service, my lady. Intriguing, isn't it? A design of its own kind. Time to wake up, gentlemen. Just as I willed it. Bravo! Sadly, these are counterfeits. Just like real diamonds. Fragrance and dazzle can easily confuse one's vision. I'm sorry for you. 
Watch my clothes. Damn it. Now, to divide the spoils, or should I say, a reasonable reallocation of the profits? To its perfection, to its best clarity. Shush, my lady. Let us enjoy this moment. This beautiful, short, enchanted moment. <laughs> <laughs>